Dear Hauke, okay, welcome at the Front School. You are the CEO of StatNet, the Norwegian DSO, and I would like to ask you two or three questions. The first one, very clear into my mind, is about renewable integration. Norway is both a country and the part of a bigger market, the Nordic market. Where is played integration of renewable, mainly on a national basis or at the level of the Nordic market itself? Uh, it's a bit both in yeah. uh, the Nordic market. We have, together with Sweden, so Norway and Sweden have established a market for green certificates. It's a common market uh, where the goal is to create an environment where investors want to make their investments from now until 2020 so that the amount of renewable energy combined in Norway and Sweden will increase by 26.4 terawatt hours. So there is a quantitative goal, a target and a model to get there is through a system of green certificates. So uh, since Norway and Sweden are the bulk of the Nordic market, mm. I would say yes, we have a common uh, approach to how to get more renewable into uh, our Nordic markets. Well, we have been told today several times that renewables go with capacity mechanism or capacity market or call for them. Is it the case in Norway or in the Nordic market? No, I wouldn't then say why? so. <laughs> uh, and I think there are several reasons why, why it can go without capacity markets. Uh, first of all, it's because it's a, it's a big market, relatively. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a national market, but it is a Nordic market. Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland. Uh, so it's a... a, a I would say a significant market and the amount of renewables uh, which you feed in uh, can be managed without any security of supply issues. Um, and secondly, and that might be a bit specific, we have uh, a large amount of hydropower in Norway and in Sweden and that hydropower uh, can really accommodate uh, the intermittent, uh, intermittency of new renewables. So. That's how the picture looks like in, in the, the Nordic market. Thank you. Now I will combine Norway and the Nordic market. No, Norway is a big player and a pioneer in the Nordic market. It's also as a country connected to other European countries. Are you satisfied uh, with the way the European market interacts with Norway or plays with Norway? Well, we are... Uh, on one side, we are uh, very content. Uh, we have a, a market coupling between the different uh, markets, which we think is uh, very good because we get uh, an even, even greater equalization of prices uh, in, a, in a larger area. Uh, so that's fine, and I think we look very positive to that. But then on the other hand, we see uh, issues like uh, capacity markets popping up both here and there. Um, to my mind, uh, capacity markets uh, are uh, not very compatible with an integrated European energy market. Um, the moment you allow different countries to install different mechanisms to create capacity, uh, you undermine, I think, the... the, the the internal market and uh, the integration between the countries. And there we see some signs that uh, concerns us a little bit. Uh, but that might be, uh, it might be uh, temporary and things might change, but we, we do see some uh, trends where um, national governments or regulators are looking into mechanisms to stimulate building capacity and what then could happen which I think is, is kind of a, a paradox is that um, 
the countries become more and more equal. If you mm. uh, put in place uh, a system to produce more intermittent uh, power, and then on top of that you put in place a system to uh, stimulate uh, investors to build capacity, then basically uh, the systems are becoming quite equal. And then there is not too much use for connections between countries any longer. So I think it's you might get into a situation where you go backwards instead, instead of forward. Thank you very much, Auke. I did notice that today at least one Norwegian speaks this wonderful pro-European English. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. My pleasure.